preparing for Nature V Ayama, bringing the right hand thumb up six inches in front of the nose, left hand behind thumb up, opening the eyes, focusing on that front thumb, seeing two thumbs behind, alternating to the back thumb, two in front. If you need to shift the thumbs a little bit to get the two thumb action, do so. Next time the eyes approach the front thumb, release the thumb, center the eyes, blink and shut, allowing the eyes to soften to the back of the skull, bringing those palms together, rubbing them together, getting lots of heat and lots of energy. And when you feel that heat, cup the palms over the eyes, taking the energy from the crown chakra, directing it down through the arms, forearms, palms, back into those eyes. Once the heat begins to dissipate, gently give the eyes, temples, cheeks, anywhere that needs any extra touch or healing this evening. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and open the eyes. We're going to work a little bit on hamstrings, hips, and groins. So <clears throat> if you know that you tend to have tight hamstrings, you're going to want to sit on some blocks or a blanket or blocks and blanket or a bolster. Push both legs out forward. Give them a shake. And you might want to have a strap nearby because I want you to focus on keeping that head, neck, and trunk straight. So keep the right leg fully extended. Take the left leg and place it on top. Now this is where you would want a strap. Here we go. So if you're not comfortable reaching down and grabbing the foot, hook the foot and on the ball of the foot and you can use that to draw it back. And that's gonna get the calf a little bit more active in here as well too. And then you can pull forward and take the gaze slightly to the floor. So we wanna keep the neck lined up. So you're not crunched and you're not pulling in. We're not trying to do some sort of Jalandhara Bandha. I'm gonna work on getting the back a little bit straighter. So pull. Yeah, mm, nice. And then lift up a little bit. Oh, very nice. And then draw this guy this way, just a wee bit. Nice, do you feel a stretch? Good. So same thing, we're not gonna stay in these for a particularly long time. So if you feel like one is really speaking to you, stay there. It is always your practice. I'm just making suggestions. Now you can stay here, you can stay in the forward fold. First option, if you wanna stay in this position, you're gonna slide your right hand. I don't want any part of the body lifting up. You can use a block, you can stay high, you can drop down to the forearm, or if you feel like you've got more range of motion, bring that leg back so the feet can be close to the behinds, or you can take them forward so that the feet, the shins are more parallel, and then the same thing, you would do the same thing but you're not lifting to get up. Keep pressing firmly through that left side. Gaze, you always have those three options, down straight ahead. Then 
bent it just a little bit for that hyperextension. Bring that arm up and let's take it to the second side. Sometimes that water you, before you go to bed. Sometimes it's like that water before you go to bed it tastes so good. Oh. Riley will say, "Is it really that good?" <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, it is. Bring it back up. Go ahead, push the legs if you had them folded in, give them a little stretch and a shake. Second leg comes in. Notice any differences between the two sides. Maybe you need to use a strap on this side, maybe you don't. Maybe you need more elevation, maybe you need less elevation. I want the back long, just like if you were seated in your Meditation pose, you want head, neck, and trunk nice and straight here, yeah. Bring it up. Let's go to the left first this time. So you still have those same options. You can fold the legs in or you don't have to fold the legs in. Keep the right side pressed to the floor. Push back with the arm and push the sitting bone. Yeah. It is your responsibility to be aware in the postures. Be aware of what's happening. Nice, Ms. Conway. Using the wall for that. Nice. <laughs> We want to create space, bring it up, second side. We want to be present so we know where that restriction is. Many times just being aware Focusing on the breath, you can suddenly get a lot more movement.
the inhalation, bring it up. Unwind the legs, give them a bit of a shake. Take two blocks, stack them on top of each other. If the ankle tends to hit the block and it, it feels uncomfortable, you can remove or you can place a blanket over top. <clears throat> you might need to stay on the, your little setup to lift up, but I want you to have a star. So you look down and you should have a star between the legs. Now you can use a strap here. You can place a strap around the blocks and you can pull forward and come down. You can take the hands on the blocks. You can pull forward. You can squeeze the feet together and pull forward. You're using this to lengthen the back. So if the back, you're feeling the back feels like it's rounding, press, and that can give you a lot of extra space. If you feel like you're not gonna be able to get that space coming forward, take the hands behind you, press and lift, press the feet into each other, and then press the knees down. So you have lots of options here. Try to keep the feet touching, and I want the spine long. So this is a nice symmetrical hip stretch. So if you were not aware of which hip tends to be the tightest for you, this should give you a, a clue quickly. some more suppressed so down on the legs here. I want you to just, I want you to fire up more. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. So I want you to press down, and, but feel like you're pressing up as well. Yeah, and do that a few times and then you can relax and then I think you'll go even deeper. Can you get a little more length in the spine? You can, if you want to. This is Tarasana, means star. The inhalation, bring it up, remove one block and go back into it. Bless you. <laughs> Tell me if this is too much. Can you lengthen the back a little? Yeah. With the inhalation, bring it up. Remove that block. And go into Tarasana without any blocks. Same thing, we still want the spine to stay nice and long. Our hips tend to be like big storage depots for stress and tension, anger, our frustrations. Our emotions. You
you notice a lot of things after teaching thousands of classes for over 20 years. And one of the things that I've noticed is that you have some people who are very rigid in their thinking and you can see it in the way that they move the body. Their body is very tight, very stiff. You have some people who are very hyper flexible, who have a lot of flexibility, but they tend to be really emotional. So you want that balance of flexibility and strength. You want that balance of your solar and your lunar energies, your masculine and your feminine. So if you know that you tend to be a little more stiff, start looking at that with the way that you think. Or if you tend to be more flexible, start looking at that with the way you think. Start being aware of which nostril is predominantly open, left or right. If your right open is open, you think differently than if your left is open. You want that balance. And it should shift about every 90 minutes or so. With the inhalation, bring it up. Now take the two blocks and you're gonna put them side by side. Soles of the feet press into the two blocks. And then you slide the feet back. If you are next to a wall, by all means, feel free to use the wall. The wall is gonna keep you honest here. You can take the hands behind and you can press in to lengthen. And I want you to really try to press the legs down. And you wanna bring the feet or the groin and the blocks as close together as you can. Keep pressing, keep lengthening the spine. And you should feel which side has more resistance here as well. Keep pressing through. If you find that you're rounding at all, press into the hands to get length in the spine. Notice what's different between the left and the right side. Notice, are you sitting evenly on the sitting bones? Are you pressing evenly into the sides of the feet? Are you pressing evenly into the blocks? Where's the breath? Relax, remove one block. Go back into it. Keep pressing into the block. Can you slide the feet closer to the groin with one block?
go ahead, release that block and go into your Baddha Konasana. So <clears throat> you can stay high, you can come low, you can work on turning the feet so that the soles of the feet are facing up. It's like you're opening up a book if you're working on that one. With the inhalation, bring it up. Push both legs forward. Paschimottanasana for about three breaths. And then I want you, so Paschimottanasana, three breaths, and then come to the back, and we'll do a very brief relaxation. So if you need to put a blanket, a rolled blanket, or a bolster underneath the knees, the calves, go for it. Then when you get to the back, making any adjustments so that the body can become totally quiet, totally still. Mentally go through the body from the crown to the toes, toes to the crown. Relaxing and letting go any areas that need more space. Returning to the breath, directing it to the toes and the fingers, and gently begin to wiggle them, allowing the body to stretch and to move as if for the first time today. And when the body is ready, bringing it to a seated posture. Save Bhavantu Sukinaha Save Santu Niramaya Save Badrani Pashantu Makashiduka Bhagavad Om Shanti 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 May all be happy, may all be healthy, 
May all experience prosperity in everything. May all be free from suffering. Om peace, peace, peace. Let me cherish those that God cherishes. Let me forgive those that God forgives. Let me serve those that God serves. Let me love those that God loves. Jai Shri Ram.